Today we were able to identify the victim and associated cause of death in relation to the stabbing incident that took place in the early morning hours of Sunday, March 17, 2013. At approximately 6.30 a.m. on Sunday, March 17, we responded to an altercation in the vicinity of 4th Street Southeast and Dermot 12 and Wade, near the Calgary Drop-In Centre. Upon arriving at the scene, a man was found unconscious and suffering from stab wounds. He was transported to hospital in life-threatening condition and was later declared deceased. An autopsy performed yesterday by the medical examiner's office has revealed that John Gordon Wamsley, 42 years of age, of Calgary, died as a result of stab wounds. Police still believe a number of people may have witnessed or have knowledge relating to this event. If you have any information, please call police directly at the Calgary Police Service Homicide Tip Line at 403-428-8877 or contact Crime Stoppers Anonymous anonymously uh, using any of our other methods. And I'll take your questions. Just to clarify, you are the Columbus Yes, so this will be Calgary's fifth, uh, 2013. Do you believe the suspect is injured? Uh, no, we do not believe the suspect is injured. Was the victim a resident of the drop-in center? Uh, no, he was not. Um, he, uh, I believe he was involved with social agencies um, in the area. Uh, but not specifically the drop-in center. Involved as in the clients? Potentially, yes. Okay. Do you have any, uh, a little bit of an idea of what happened uh, just before this all unfolded? I think it was, I think it's obvious that our victim was involved in some kind of an altercation. Uh, we're hoping it, it's, it is early yet. Um, we are working through uh, speaking with several people in the downtown east side and trying to determine why exactly this happened. Again, it's obvious he was involved in an altercation with staff jury. Was there any indication that he'd been robbed in it? Or? Um, those kind of details I'm not going to speak to, um, but it is something that we're looking at as to what, what the motive was and, and what the altercation was about. At this point, are there any persons of interest? Uh, I think it's still it's still early. There, we're still in the process of asking people to come forward. Uh, we do believe in that community, people are going to have heard what happened and who's responsible. And we want those people to contact us and come forward and be spoken to. Given the fact that the drop-in center and various other social agencies are there, does that kind of prove a challenge that there may be a lot of people in there with no fixed address? Uh, yes. And I think no fixed address is uh, an interesting term in this situation because of the social agencies in the area. So I don't think we're going to go that far to say people that, that reside, say, in some of the other places are of no fixed address. So we are working with the social agencies in the area. They are cooperating with us as we try to identify uh, who was involved in this altercation. Isn't there quite a bit of surveillance capability around that area as well? Are you utilizing that? Yes, there is. So the drop-in center has um, uh, surveillance video uh, in that area. We have seized some of it. We are looking at it. The City of Calgary CCTV system uh, is also present in the area. We have seized video from there as well, and we're reviewing that as well. Again, uh, these incidents never happen, never seem to happen, uh, right in front of uh, one of the cameras. And so these are some of the challenges that we're facing now. Um, earlier reports were that this gentleman had, was, had staggered sort of over to the drop-in center for help, but then in the press release it says he was found unconscious, so which, which is it? Uh, I, I think that the, the latter, I think originally uh, we were unaware of, of, I think, how the incident concluded, and it does appear now that he did stumble back towards the drop-in center and did receive assistance from staff and others. Uh, in that area. But by the time paramedics got there, he was unconscious? I, I believe he was uh, very badly injured at that time. Can you say if it was a drug related altercation? No, I can't. And as we spoke of, it was an altercation, and we're trying to determine what the altercation was about. Can you say, in terms of altercation, would it be one against one or four people jump one guy? So, we're examining, I think, all of those options and possibilities. It's too hard to tell right now exactly uh, what happened. 
when you look into the victim's recent history, is there any sort of uh, any indication that he was should fear for his safety or fear for his life? Is there anything in the short history? I think in general, no. Uh, I think one of the things the service is trying to do is uh, stay away from people's pasts if it's not related to a specific incident. And I think that's applicable in this situation. Uh, this man is the victim um, of an altercation. He was stabbed, and uh, his previous connection to the police or any contact he's had with us, if he's had any with us, isn't relevant to this situation. So no previous threats or anything that he had? Is he from Calgary? Um, we believe that he is from Calgary. Uh, he has family that is spread out a little bit, and so they were hard to find and locate. Uh, we have spoken with them. But we do believe he is from uh, this area. At this point, then, I'm not sure how many people were involved. But at this point, are you just looking for one suspect? I don't think we're going to limit it to one right now. Um, we're, we're, yeah, we're not limiting it to one right now. There could be others involved, and that's what we're trying to determine. You're still looking for witnesses, but do you do you have witnesses that have come forward at this point? Yes, absolutely, and we're present in the area at the time. Uh, there are people that have come to be aware that we want to speak to people and they have contacted us. Uh, we have our beat units uh, out downtown. We have homicide investigators in the area. Uh, I think it's safe to say we're fairly active in that geographical area right now. Uh, <coughs> come up with more information. Roughly how many people have you talked to? More than a dozen? Yes. 